Recently, Funko has been creating a lot of bitty pops. It's like their normal Funko Pops, but a lot smaller. And today, I have two of the newest sets that we're gonna be cracking open to see if we can get every single one of them. And while I'm opening them up, we're gonna be making a bitty store using this Disney mini brand set. It's got everything from Disney princesses to Mickey and friends, as well as Star Wars, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And now you might also notice there's a bit of a Marvel section over here. They haven't made Marvel bitty pops yet, so we'll have to ignore that. And now the sets that we're gonna be opening up today are the Disney princesses, which makes sense, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I understand that these technically wouldn't be inside of like the Disney store, but I have a bit of a compromise. Up until 2005, you could find the turtles walking around Hollywood Studios, formerly known as MGM Studios. The park they have at Florida is Disney World, so just pretend it's around then. But before we can crack into those, I feel like it's a good idea to actually fill the shelves with the sets that we've already opened up, like Disney as well as Star Wars, and I've got all of my other figures right inside of here. Yes, this is every single Biddy Pop I've ever opened up inside of one protector. It's kind of crazy. And so now, I guess it's time. Let me pick out the Star Wars and Mickey and friends. Okay. It seemed like the easiest thing to do. And so now that I've got them all out, the next thing is to put them on. And I hope that they all fit, or at least most of them fit. And I think a good spot to do is, oh, you know what? Now that I look at it, they actually have Mickey and Friends ones. And there is a Mickey and Friends section. At first, I thought it just said Mickey on it, but no, it is both. So let me see how many I can fit in here. I'm guessing it's probably going to be like maybe six, if I were to guess. Ooh, they don't fit on the second shelf. Actually, you know what? It looks like these shelves are adjustable, so I can move it down one and it should slide uh -huh, perfectly in. All right, so there we go, everybody. All of the Disney ones are on. And I'm not exactly sure if you could see them too well, but it is looking pretty great. And now we've got to fill in this shelf here with all of the Star Wars stuff, and I feel like it might fit pretty perfectly. If not, I'll have a little bit of room left over, but still, it's going to look pretty great. And boom, take a look at that. And now the nice thing is there is a little bit of room on this side here, the one that you guys can't really see too well. And I think that's nice if they ever do make more Star Wars ones in the future, we could throw them right in there. And so now let's move this off to the side, being careful with it, because I don't want them to fall off. And let's get into the turtles because I was only able to get three out of the four sets for this one I am missing the one with splinter But if you guys want to take a look on the back here These are all of the options and then the ones on this side are the mystery ones And so I'm hoping we get at least three different mystery ones to kind of keep up with the set that I only have to possibly buy one more in the future That would be nice and of course they do come with the mini acrylic display So there is that then inside of here. We got some pretty nice ones. We got Leonardo. We got ooh, these things just pop right out I have been noticing that with some of the Bitty Pops where they're like a little bit too tight for themselves and they just seem to kind of like bounce out. But anyways, we got Leonardo for this first one here and he can go right inside of the display there. Then after that, we have Michelangelo, which is looking really great, especially because he has the nunchucks in the front. They're a nice detail. And then of course we have April O'Neil next to them. And I haven't shown you guys today or in this video, so I figure I might as well. If you guys want to see, you can just put your nail on the side there and pop them right out like a normal Funko. Pop, which is honestly one of the coolest things that I think they could have added to these characters because if it didn't have that it would be neat But I feel like it's a little bit more special when you can take them out And now let's take a look at what the first mystery figure is going to be and honestly I haven't even really looked at them I kind of showed you guys, but I didn't glance at it. So let's see who we got. Ooh, We got bebop now that is a nice one. And is it a one in three or a one in six? It's a one in three the rarest they can be is a one in six like I mentioned But the thing is I don't have any of them so it didn't really matter me. And so there we go. Our first row is complete. We've got no doubles so far because there was no way we were getting doubles. But now let's get into box number two, which is actually before I open it up, Donatello, Shredder, and Baxter Stockman. Pretty neat that they didn't make him a rare character. So you can pretty much just pick him up whenever you want. And let's put the acrylic display on top because they do stack. So not too shabby. And now taking a look at Donatello, there he is. And it is kind of nice that you have to buy more of them to get all of the turtles. I think it's kind of fun that you have to collect more of them to get every single one because there was no way they were going to get them in one box because you're only getting three at a time. And then we have Shredder here, which is looking pretty clean too. And then of course we have Baxter Stockman. And this one I want to kind of pop out to see what the details are on this one because he normally has like clear wings on the back. And I don't know if they're going to be adding that for this here. Oh no, okay, so they're just kind of like 
a purple color, which still looks pretty good, especially this small. And if you guys want to see them on the back, there it is. So pretty neat. And now let's hope for this one here we don't get Bebop. As long as we don't get him, I am completely okay with it. And let's see here. I'm hoping it's not him. Right, all right, all right. Ah ha ha! We got Leatherhead, and I believe he was a one in six. I'd have to take a look, but uh, yeah, he was. So we got one of the rare ones. Oh, and you know what, guys? I just realized I have the Splinter one. The one that I'm missing is the 8-bit box. I apologize about that. It's the one on the bottom. I totally missed that. And so I guess if there was one to be missing, that would be the one that you want to miss out on because it is the exact same characters, again, just in the 8-bit version. And I will definitely be picking that one up eventually. I just haven't seen it in person yet. Sorry, guys. They're so small, it's hard to remember sometimes. But anyways, let's take a look at the first one here, which is Splinter, and he is probably one of my favorites so far. I don't know, there's just something about him that looks super clean. And of course, we've got to grab the display case. So let me just pop Splinter right in and we'll put him on top. Yeah, I am loving how this looks so far. And then we, of course, have Raphael, which is another really great one. And I like how these boxes actually correlate with their colors. And I know the normal size versions of them did too. So it's cool that they also shrunk that down to the tiny versions. And then, of course, we have Rocksteady, which is, again, another pretty clean one. I'm liking his horn on the front there. And now it is time where we could possibly get a double. So let's... Let's hope I didn't on this one. I would love to not get one if I could get my nail under there. That's a bit better. All right, who did we get? They're all kind of green on the back. Oh, we got another leather head. Ugh, it's too bad. And I mean, what are you gonna do, guys? It's so cool that we got a one in six. It's just too bad that it wasn't the other one in six that we need. And I guess before we get onto the Disney princesses, let's put these guys on the shelf. And I guess they'll have to take up the Marvel section. And with some editing, we'll swap over the logo. Alrighty, everybody, we are just about done. I need you to just put Raphael in the bottom here. And boom, that is the entire shelf complete. And I figured I might as well put the second leather head because then it fills in the entire thing and it looks really nice. Oh, Oh, and of course we need to swap that over at the top. There we go, that's looking a lot better. And now I think one of the coolest parts about this set is that at the back there's actually a Disney princess castle that you can normally find at the Disney store. And so of course we're gonna be putting all of the Disney princesses back there, but before we do that, we gotta get opening. All righty, so for this one we do actually have all four and I know which boxes I have. And for the first one here, we're gonna be opening up the bell set. If you guys would like to take a look on the back with all of the other ones that they've got here, there they are. And then here is the rarer figures on the side. And now it's pretty cool because they gave us a nice variety of characters. And I'm trying to see if there's anybody here that's missing. I don't think so. And so let's find out what they are looking like here. And of course, we've got the display case like I always enjoy. And then the first one that we've got here is the peasant bell. And I believe there is a second version of bell. We'll have to check in a bit. And anyways, we've got Pocahontas here, which is a pretty nice one. And then the last last normal one that you can see inside of this set is Jasmine. And I gotta say, this one has some really great detail with her arms out and her hair blowing in the wind. And now I wonder who we're gonna be getting for the mystery figure. I'm trying to think of who I would want. I don't really know. Like, I mean, eventually all of them, but for the first one, it would be neat to get maybe a one in six at least. And we got, ooh, Coronation Anna. And now for this one, if I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if it's a one in six. It is not. Okay, so this one's a one in three. The Elsa though is a one in six. And so I guess she can just pop right there for now. And let's get on to the second one here, which is the Cinderella, Snow White, and Aurora set. Also, I gotta say, I am really enjoying this lighter purple box. It's something you don't see very often. All right, so let's start by taking a look at Cinderella, which is a really nice one where she is, oh, either holding her dress up or curtsying. Is that the word? Cur I've, I've had trouble with this one in the past. I never get it right. I believe it's curtsying. Either way, whatever. It's a word I don't say very often. And here we have Snow White, which is looking really great. And it says that she's got a bird on her hand, which is really, really tiny. And I'm wondering if she does. Oh my gosh, she does. And now that right there might be the smallest Funko Pop. I mean, it's not separate, but it's still like really tiny in there. I hope you guys can see that. Then we've got Aurora. And this is another really great one. And I feel like she doesn't get enough love. Also, this one is not sticking together, which is a little bit annoying. And I hate when that happens. For some reason, they'll click in, but then watch. Yeah, they just click right out again. Like, I'm trying here. But anyways, that is the figure. A really nice one still. Oh, and actually, it seems to be staying now. So let me just be careful with it. It should be all right. And then, of course, we've got our mystery figure. And I'm guessing it's probably not going to be another Anna. But it is. Oh, we 
a bell from Beauty and the Beast. And not the peasant bell this time, the newer one, which I believe would be Emma Roberts, I think. Is this the Emma Roberts version or did Emma Roberts even play Beauty and the Beast? I think she did, right? Oh, and by the way, for anybody wondering, that one was a one in six. And now we are getting on to the Ariel, Mulan, and Tiana box. And I think Ariel is sitting on a rock. No, she's not. But I think for the normal size figure, she was, or maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Either way, it looks pretty well done. If you guys want to see it, she's got her bag in her hand as well as her tail kind of up in the air. It's not bad. And I also like the box that they chose. It's for the actual like Little Mermaid wave of characters and not just the one that she was thrown into at the beginning of the set. And I'm sure some of you guys know, but at the beginning of Disney, they just made a bunch of them to kind of catch up with the movies and they're all inside of like this one colored box. But this one here actually makes sense where it's got like the purple on the top, like purplish pink, and then the blue on the bottom for the sea, which I personally think looks a lot nicer than the other ones, even though I do really enjoy that classic Funko box. And anyways, here is Mulan, which is again a pretty nice one. She's got the sword in the front there and she also goes right next to Ariel. And then we've got Tiana, which is another really great one. And this one here, I believe would be from the end of the movie. It looks like it. And now we've got the mystery figure and let's hope it is someone that we don't have. Oh, I'm seeing Anna. Definitely too bad. So I'll have to get another one of this one in the future, but still a cool one to have a double love because it is a pretty nice bitty pop. And now, of course, before we start putting them in the store, we have to open up the last one, which has Rapunzel, Merida, and Moana. And so even though we did get one double, I'm hoping that with this one here, we can at least kind of keep it to, you know, I'm only needing one extra figure. But anyways, there is the Rapunzel one right there. And I'm thinking her hair is probably pretty long. Oh yeah, it goes all the way down the side and the back with the tiny, tiny flowers. If you guys want to take a look at that. And then after that, we've got Merida, which I believe is the newer version of her that maybe even released for like a convention. I don't know. They don't put tiny stickers on the front of them, even though sometimes they are exclusive ones. And then we've got Moana. And this here, I actually found it was the coronation version of her, which I think is a pretty good one. Oh, and you know what? Now that I think about it, I didn't show you guys Merida a little bit closer up. So if you guys want to take a look, there she is. Pretty well done too. And then everybody, we have the last one of the day. And then we'll be putting them all into the store. And I'm really excited to see what these guys look like in the actual Disney princess section. And this one here is different. Oh, we got Ariel. Nice. And this is her in her dress from the end of the movie. So not too shabby. And if you guys want to take a look at all of them, I'm going to be careful with them here. I'll hold on. You guys can see we only ended up getting one double, but still pretty clean. Careful, careful, careful. Now let's put them into the store. Now, I don't believe every single one of these is going to fit on the shelf. Oh, wait a second. Ah, I got to really squeeze it in there. Oh, no, they don't even fit in the castle. Like they're kind of just making it. Oh, you know what I can do? I can take them out of the box. Okay, that'll work, I guess. They'll look pretty clean on the shelf. Yeah, that's not bad. And I guess that is one benefit to having them out of the box, that you can actually take them and put them in it. And I believe they'll fit on the bottom shelf. It's just that middle one there, they're not going to. But it's still gonna look pretty good with how I've got them. And it seems like I can only put four of them, so I'm just gonna fill in the rest of the gaps, maybe with the Disney princesses for now. And you know what, I could put one or two on top. I don't think that would look too bad. No, I can probably sneak a couple in here, and I think that is pretty clean. Yeah, we'll do three of them, because I think they will fit all the way across. So there we go. Boom, not too shabby. All right, I'm liking that. And now we do have these shelves in the front here as well as this one. And that's just kind of like a generic Disney one. So I can definitely put some of them over here. Yeah, I'm liking this. And so I gotta say with the amount that I've got here, we are filling them in pretty nicely. And I guess the turtles, like I said, don't really make sense, but I'm guessing when they had them at MGM Studios, they probably would have had merchandise. I don't know, if you guys went at that time, let me know. Because that is something that I am super curious about now, because I'm guessing they would have if they had turtles walking around, it would only make sense. Sense. And then I ended up having, okay, three left over. We'll put them on the front here. I think I can fit three, like one here would look good. And then if I also do another one next to that, then we could have one out of box in the very front. And I guess we'll do Pocahontas because she's the one that I've got left. But I think that right there, ooh, yeah, I am liking how this looks. I gotta say, guys, pretty snazzy. And when you take a look at it from the front here, it's gonna look really cool to have all of them kind of in the store filling it out. Yeah, I am so glad that I found this thing. And also, I know that this is pretty much all of the Biddy Pops that they had announced originally, so I'm hoping that they do come out with more of them in the future, and I would love to see, like, Pokemon or Marvel like we've got here. Or another one that I was thinking was Ad Icons. I feel like those would do amazing. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow!